Are you often wondering how difficult a piece of music might be to learn? Or in fact, looking for pieces of music that are around your current level of difficulty? Well, stay tuned because today I've got a top tip that might help you find out. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let's begin. Hi, this is Tommy with Tommy's Piano Corner, the place for returning pianists or indeed anybody who loves the piano to share tips and ideas of how to get the best from this great hobby. If this is your first trip here, then please remember to subscribe. All you need to do is hit the little icon in the bottom right hand corner of your screen and it's done for you. I found that there are often lots of occasions when we need to try and work out how difficult a piece of music is and it's a question that comes up very often on various online forums and the like. Now of course most of us might judge our current level by the most recent exam we did if we do ABRSM or RCM exams or something like that. And then those of us who don't do exams probably think of our level of difficulty around probably the most difficult piece that we can play at the moment. However, this alone doesn't often help you work out how difficult a new piece of music might actually be to learn. Because there are lots and lots of different things that of course go to make a level of difficulty. Of course, for more popular music or jazz type music, the question doesn't ask itself so often because effectively there are hundreds of different arrangements of all sorts of different tunes so you'll find anything at pretty much any level that you need. The real issue comes with classical music. However, luckily for we classical musicians, one of the world's biggest publishing houses, a house called Henley in Germany, in about 2010, actually went about classifying the level of difficulty of their entire catalogue, which covers pretty much any classical music you might ever want to play. Let's have a look at how we might be able to use this system to our advantage. Now, probably the first thing to mention, of course, is that when I use the term classical music here, I'm using it in its very, very widest sense. Henley covers everything, Baroque, Romantic, Classical, it's all there. Henley is perhaps one of the most recognised publishing houses and they focus on what they call Urtext or Uartext editions. Now really these editions are where they've spent an awful lot of time and effort with their editors to try and get a piece of music written out to be exactly as the composer wanted it, which of course is not always easy given some of their handwritten scores that go, you know, back into the mists of time. Now, you might be surprised to know that you'll be, I guess, more familiar with these editions than you might think. They come in a very, very familiar blue cover. All of them do, there are no pictures or anything. It comes in this familiar Henley blue cover and you'll have seen these in libraries, in music shops, online, as they are probably one of the most prolific houses in the world. When Henley decided that they like to try and classify the level of difficulty of all of their music, they used one of their most experienced editors, a gentleman called Professor Rolf Kernan. And basically, he took on the mammoth task of going through every piece of music that Henley publishes, both past and present, and analysing it in order to come up with a difficulty level for it. Professor Kernan's answer to this complex problem was to effectively categorise everything into three main groups. Easy, medium, difficult. And then within each group, he split that by a further three. So easy has got one, two, three, medium, four, five, six, difficult, seven, eight, nine. So effectively giving you a classification of nine different levels. Now, it's worth pointing out that these nine levels are not aimed at fitting any exam board classification. 
There are nine independent levels and different exam boards that say level five or grade five would have different kinds of pieces in them than what you might find at a Henley level five. Quote from Professor Kernan states the following. A number of parameters have been considered when assessing the level of difficulty. I have not just looked at the number of fast or slow notes to be played, or the chord sequences. Of central importance are also the complexity of the piece's composition, its rhythmic complexities, the difficulty of reading the text for the first time, and last but not least, how easy or difficult it is to understand its musical structure. Of course, trying to fit everything into nine different categories is in itself a challenge. And what Professor Kernan eventually did was to classify things where they cross between one level of the next. So for example, you can have a two, three, or a three, four, or a four, five. So this effectively ups the potential number of categories to 16 in all. Using this rating system really couldn't be any simpler. You simply need, of course, to go to their website, henley.com, and you'll be able to find it there. Let's just say, for example, that you wanted to find the difficulty level for Chopin C sharp minor waltz. You go over to their website, you do a search, full text search for that piece of music, and you'll get a whole set of results that come back. Within these search results, you'll effectively see every Henley publication in which the waltz appears. Here, as we can see, there's a standalone version of it, so let's click on that. As we scroll down, we can see the level of difficulty marked as six, so the upper end of medium. However, what's now interesting is that we can click on the other titles with this level of difficulty. So of course, this then becomes super useful when you're looking for music to learn around the same kind of level of difficulty. Whenever there is a book with several different difficulty levels in it, we're basically told the percentage of pieces of the level of difficulty that we were interested in in the first place. If you simply want to start a search by level of difficulty, then again we go to the Henley store and we can do it like this. Once we've then managed to get to the main list, we can refine our search by individual composers, for example, by selecting in the drop-down lists that are there. All in all, I think the Henley classification system is a fantastic tool for any amateur pianist trying to work out just how difficult or in fact how easy something might actually be. It is, of course, free to use. You go onto their website, as I showed you, and off you go. And then as a bonus, of course, you've got access to purchase fabulous editions of this music, either by hard copy, or you can actually now download onto an app on your iPad, which is fantastic. I highly recommend it as a research tool when you're looking for new repertoire or thinking about whether or not to tackle a piece of music. I certainly use it very often. If you're not already, then do remember to subscribe to Tommy's Piano Corner. Click that little bell icon, of course, so that you're notified of new videos as and when they're released. I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next week.